Hey everybody, Joe here, and today we have a guide for you on how to reset the password on your IP camera or your recorder should you find yourself in a situation where you need to perform this process. There's some information you're going to need to know and a couple of tools you'll need in order to get started, so let's take a look. First, this guide is only for our Elite or E-Series recorders and IP cameras. This guide does not apply to other series or third-party devices. Always reach out to your manufacturer for issues with third-party equipment. Additionally, this guide may not work for Elite or E-Series recorders that are purchased before 2017. It may for some, but many recorders from before that time have different firmware and software which require a special reset procedure. You're going to need a smartphone, iOS or Android is fine, and you're going to have to download the application called Elite Viewer Pro. If you're working with a recorder today, you're going to need to have a local monitor and mouse attached. While some recorders can perform this password reset function from their web interface using a Windows PC running Internet Explorer, some cannot, and this varies often enough that it's best to simply perform this reset locally. For an IP camera reset, however, you will need access to the camera's web interface by entering its IP address from a PC running Internet Explorer. In any case, you'll also need access to the email account that was originally put into the recorder or camera on day one setup. It doesn't matter where you view this email as long as you can see it. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna show you this process from the recorder's local interface. If you are trying to reset the password on an IP camera today, be advised that this process is exactly the same, the only difference being that you'll access the camera via its IP address from Internet Explorer. Okay, let's get started. For your recorder, start by right-clicking the screen and clicking Main Menu to bring up the Login dialog prompt. If you are prompted with a pattern login, click Forgot Pattern to switch to the password screen, and then click the Forgot Password icon to the right of the password entry field. This will bring up a new dialog box that lets you know that it's going to gather information and if you want to continue. Simply click OK. On the next screen, you're going to see a QR code appear with a field at the bottom and an email address that's been starred out. At this point in time, you're going to need to leave this screen open and do not close it, but turn your attention to your Android or iOS phone and open up the application Elite Viewer Pro. Once the application has loaded, navigate to the Me option at the bottom right. From here, go to Password Security and then choose Reset Password. If it hasn't already, the app will ask permission to use your phone's camera and make sure to tell it yes or okay. Then wait for the camera to pop up. Line up the scanner with the QR code and scan. You should get a message saying reset code successful. At this time, go ahead and open up your email to check for a message from the reset process. Make sure to check your spam or other filter folders if it doesn't appear in your primary inbox. Inside this email will be a dynamic code that you must now enter into the field on your recorder's dialog box. Once you enter the code, the recorder or camera will then give you the option to choose a new password. Recorders and cameras of various ages will have differing minimum password strength requirements. Make sure to pay attention to what it's requesting of you to input a password correctly. Once done, make sure to test your new password by logging in to see if it works. Briefly, we're gonna show you a clip of what the web interface for the camera looks like when performing this process. And as you'll see, it's incredibly similar and there aren't really any differences except for color and stylization. Thanks for joining us today as we showed you how to reset the password on your recorder or your IP camera. As we mentioned earlier in the video, some recorders that are a bit older might not be able to use this process. So if you find yourself still stuck in this situation and unable to proceed, please give our tech support line a call at 561-288-5258. Until next time, stay safe. <music>